Viv Anderson, thank you very much for your company in the build-up. Settle back with us now, please, wherever you're watching, and enjoy this special occasion in the company of Ray Clements and Peter Brackley. The Grudge Cup final, but maybe an all-time classic. Over the decades, there's been many a mouth-watering match-up on this celebrated occasion, and this today surely is right up there with the pick of them. Huge rivals, bitter rivals, but enormous mutual respect as well, of course. Chelsea's meteoric rise to premiership supremacy may have stolen much of the domestic limelight, but as battle commences in this palatial and so atmospheric football arena, Arsenal and Manchester United, in chest-thumping fashion, will pull their respective talents in full global gaze, safe in the knowledge that they have the armory, they have the wherewithal to produce a truly memorable final. Today's guest of honour to greet the new teams, and the two teams in a moment, His Royal Highness Prince Michael of Kent, but first the national anthem. fighting opinion, reaching and counter winging and mind games. Much of it you take perhaps to the pitch of sort, but the bottom line remains that these two sides are thirsting to gain the upper hand, so anxious to get one over the old enemy, and it would take a very brave man indeed to forecast the outcome. Well, I'm delighted to say that alongside me today then is a man who himself gained so much respect in football the world over, and I know all of you tuning in will join me in saying how relieved we are that he's on the road to recovery after illness. A very good afternoon to you. Welcome back, Ray Clements. Yes, it's great to be back here at this uh, wonderful stadium, and uh, what a match as well, and what an atmosphere. Uh, two sides that are absolutely desperate to win something this year, and two managers who are extremely keyed up before this game. So, uh, great game in prospect, some great players out there. I just hope it is a great game, it doesn't turn into a battle. Well, for these teams, conquest is their only consideration. Failure is not an option. Premiership and European disappointments forgotten now as hostilities are renewed. United winners a record 11 times. Arsene Wenger's Arsenal, their victories fall only too short of that. The FA Cup has so many fond memories for these juggernauts of English football. United, of course, the holders, hoping for their first ever back-to-back -back triumphs. And Arsenal's own love affair with the world's most famous cup competition sees them pursuing a third win in five seasons and their fourth in all under Wenger. Two teams so desperate to rescue their seasons. It will be, says Sir Alec Ferguson, pretty feisty early on. Oh, I think it will be, and of course, uh, we've had a bit of rain in the last hour, and certainly that's freshened the pitch up, and the ball will zip around early on, and that will encourage pace in the game and also one or two sliding tackles which uh, might make physical contact with one or two players well Rob Stiles is today's man in the middle the first time that he has refereed an Arsenal Manchester United game and no question there's a fair amount of pressure on him both teams and the managers in particular calling on the referee to offer the right protection and step down on any attempts to soften players up we shall see Ray Yes, as much as he'll try and do that, I imagine the first 10 or 15 minutes he'll see one or two crunching tackles. And we just hope that uh, Rob Styles doesn't book too many people early on because he'll put himself under pressure then for a possible sending off further in the game. It will be Manchester United in their black strip, their away strip to kick off. Some of the fans in black today, of course, as their protest to the Malcolm Glazer takeover. This is United's chosen away strip, nothing to do with the protest. It really is a fantastic atmosphere, no love lost between the two clubs, you can't really pretend otherwise. Not based on recent clashes anyway, and in particular, the acrimony surrounding the season's league meeting at Old Trafford seemed to rumble on interminably. 
But this promises to be a pulsating FA Cup final. Here's Paul Scholes. Wes Brown starting at right back and O'Shea on the left. It's Ferdinand and Sylvester in the centre right. Yes, well, O'Shea's very, very versatile. He's played central, he's played central midfield, he's played right back and left back. But obviously Silvestri and, uh, and Rio Ferdinand have formed a very good partnership in the middle there, and therefore Sir Alex Ferguson feels that's the strongest pairing to make sure that Bergkamp and Reyes don't get any, any joy through the middle. A potentially explosive cup final that has been so eagerly awaited. Arsenal playing well at the back end of the season and seeking revenge. United have won the last three encounters this season. But Sir Alec Ferguson's side so keen to underline his belief that the best of his squad is still to come. Here's Rio Ferdinand, a spectator last year, of course. He was serving his ban at the time when United came through by three goals to nil against Millwall. And he said watching was a very strange experience for him. Scores to Ferdinand. Darren Fletcher in ahead of Ryan Giggs then today. What do you make of that selection? Well, for a massive game like this, it, it is a strange selection. But having said that, you know, Darren Fletcher had a, has had an excellent season, played extremely well in this game last year. So certainly it's one that uh, Sir Alec Ferguson thinks for the future. Ryan Giggs has signed a new contract, but maybe he's going to have to not play all the games as he used to. But I'm sure if and when he comes on, that he will have an influence on the game. Fletcher with the free kick. Here's Wayne Rooney. Heading for Sylvester. The Frenchman making no impact. Warren on the right hand side of the Arsenal back line with young Senderos in tandem with Colo Torre in the centre. Senderos, who really has been playing well lately since coming into the team. He must have been to keep out Sol Campbell. Here's Fabregas. What a season he has had. Only 18 years old. And if he scores today, he'll be the youngest ever to do so in an FA Cup final. Younger than Norman Whiteside was back in the uh, early 1980s for Manchester United. Van Nistelrooy, who does seem to have been at the centre of so many of the flashpoints between these two teams in recent meetings. Ronaldo off through the middle, the flag is up for offside. Raised by assistant referee Jim Devine. The other assistant is Paul Canadine, and the fourth official today is Neil Barry. Yes, and I think there he was just about offside. He was trying to step back on and keep himself on onside, but uh, just over the mark and linesman on the far side, or assistant referee, as I keep making a mistake, is certainly uh, correct on that decision. Here is Torre. Now Perez, such a key man for Arsenal. And he's found Laura. Now Gilberto, their midfield enforcer, on by Vieira, the bear cap. Do you realise that we've actually nearly had four minutes of the game and there hasn't been, that's the first free kick we've had? <laughs> <laughs> what are they up to? All that hype? It will be competitive, don't you worry about that. Here's Fabregas. On their bike, Perez, lovely ball as well. Ashley Cole, I think that just took a bobble then as he tried to play the ball in. John O'Shea underlining his versatility by playing on the left in the absence of Neville and Gabriel Hense, the Argentine, who's had a fabulous season but misses out in the final because of injury. Gilberto. The invisible wall, they call him, back in Brazil. Does the same sort of job, really, for Arsenal that Makaleli does for Chelsea. I was just looking there before when Ashley Cole went down the left-hand side and crossed the ball into the box. It's a, possibly a problem with Bergkamp up the front on his own there, that he, he doesn't like being the first person in the box, and certainly when it was a good ball in by Ashley Cole, 
but Bergkamp was a good five or six yards off getting in there to attack it. You know, he likes to be that second striker arriving in the box, and that may be a problem for Arsenal as the game goes on. A stern expression on the face of Sir Alec Ferguson, who's won the FA Cup a record five times. Guiding United to their seventh final now under him. Here's Ronaldo, full of tricks, full of sorcery. Some lovely footwork, and it's over the top, though, from Paul Scholes. Well, Paul Scholes will be disappointed with that because Ronaldo did fantastic outs on the left-hand side. Teased and teased Lauren, got it onto his left foot here. And Scholes pulls off, he gets a free header there, and really, for somebody of Scholes' quality, he really should have hit the target there because that's half a chance for Man United. And Paul Scholes will know that. He does say by his own high standards he's had a disappointing season, really, Paul Scholes. No longer, of course, on the England scene. But very much a fixture with Manchester United. He got a couple of goals against Southampton in the sixth round. And he also scored in the semi-final against Newcastle, when United really turned on the style. And they haven't always done that this season. Here's Gilberto. Now then, Setneros. Such a big day for him. But they have no doubts about his temperament. And they feel they have another Tony Adams in the making. Maybe looked a little ponderous at first when he came into the team, but he really has excelled over the past few weeks. And Wenger has gone for youth today over experience by leaving out Sol Campbell. But in fairness, Campbell has hardly played since coming back from injury. Well, United certainly are going to make it very difficult for Arsenal to play through them because their back four is pushing up a good ten yards outside the penalty area. The front two are dropping into the defensive half of the field, and there's very little space for for Arsenal to actually play in. But Reyes is through here from Senderos's pass. Now it's Fabregas. Gilberto, and the momentum dies away, but terrific sprint through the second, through the uh, centre there from Reyes. Arsenal probing again, and it's Vieira lashing it over the bar. Vieira, who missed out on the 2003 FA Cup final success against Southampton through injury. Well, as you see, with, with Man United pushing up, as I talked about, it leaves that space in behind, and Reyes has got such pace, causes Roy Carroll an embarrassment, and really a poor touch from Fabregas there really allows Arsenal to get back. Sorry, Man United to get back, but Roy Carroll totally stranded there, and uh, I thought Reyes actually might try and chip it in the net from there. Roy Carroll in ahead of Tim Howard, although there was a strong suggestion doing the rounds this morning that Howard was going to start. I don't know who began that rumour. Sir Alex, probably. He didn't believe Henri wasn't uh, going to be on the team sheet, did he, for Arsenal? So many mind games. Here's Reyes now, bearing down on goal. It was Keane in the way. Cole to Pires. Here's the Frenchman again, Pires. Amazingly, it seems there's some doubt about his future with Arsenal. Pires, he's only got one year to go on his contract. And he says he's had no clear vibes yet as to whether or not they want to keep him, which seems extraordinary. Well, it would be amazing because uh, although he hasn't played every game this year, again, when he's played or when he's come on as a substitute, he's had a big influence on the game, and therefore you would think somebody like him would be vital to Arsene Wenger either in the team or certainly as a squad member. Senderos. Really good feel to the game in the first ten minutes. That was Torre. Ferdinand getting the better of Dennis Bergkamp. Will this be, I wonder, his last game for Arsenal? Somehow I think not. No, again, he's a world-class player, he may be 36 years of age, but certainly players like that don't lose their class, and again, maybe not playing every week, as he hasn't done this year but he'll certainly be a big influence, and that's why he's playing today, I'm sure it's such a young side, and his experience will be vital out there today. Well, they will miss Thierry Henry, there are no two ways about that, but it's only the been occasions lately when Arsenal played that little bit better without him, so much relying on him, and when he's not there, the others come out of the shadows a bit. Yes, certainly, I think uh, the likes of Reyes and people like that certainly have enjoyed the extra responsibility of when Henri is not in the side, but uh, let's not forget Henri is one of the world's greatest players. So Alec Ferguson said he still expected him to play. 
I think you probably planned for Tony Adams and then Ian Wright being out there as well, knowing Sir Alex is somewhat uh, cautious by nature. Yes, it was an interesting one, wasn't it? Because Arnre is, is probably not fully fit, but certainly has a level of fitness because he played it last week in a league game. But uh, maybe uh, the experience of putting him on the bench in the semi final last year and him doing nothing in that semi final maybe has influenced Wenger as not to take a chance of not having a fully fit Henri out there. And he did rule him out early in the week, too. Here's Sylvester. Now then to Rio Ferdinand. He's been a little sloppy in his play lately. But that has applied to Manchester United in general. Although, as I was saying, they did play so well in the semi-final. Here's Fletcher. Can't keep it alive, though, from Brown's pass. But the manager has singled him out, Fletcher, along with Rooney and Ronaldo, as potentially world-class players. Thinks really highly of Fletcher. He must do to prefer him over Ryan Giggs. Ferdinand. Now then to Keane. His battle with Vieira will be, without question, a key issue in this game. O'Shea. As Ronaldo slips on the greasy surface, we've had a fair bit of rain here. After a bright start to the day. Now some trickling football here from Scholes. And he spotted the movement there of Ruban Easteroy, couldn't quite find it. Perez. Away from Rooney. Now Fabregas. Ronaldo quick enough to deny Ashley Cole. Here's Vieira. Alan Torres, the Spaniard. Fair cap losing out, but Gilberto rolling it on to Laurent, the Cameroon international. Now Setneros, hoping to be the third, the second Swiss international to win the FA Cup after an off show of Liverpool. Pires now, great run by him, back cap. And if anything, there he and Reyes went for the same ball, a little bit of a misunderstanding between the two. Yes, it was it was a marvellous setup there for Perez down that left hand side, and I, I think Bergkamp was actually probably trying to stop it for Reyes to come in and hit it. But uh, it's a wonderful touch there from Briere. He was fouled, but good play by Rob Styles to let play play on, and then the ball that came into the box. Well, you know, I think Bergkamp trying to control it for Reyes, but just didn't manage that final touch. Scores, and then for Rudvat needs to Roy. Up manoeuvre though by Colo Torre. Gilberto, lovely ball, here's Bergkamp, Gilberto's continued his run, he's got Perez to his left, but he was upended anyway by Sylvester. Just a free kick. Rob Stiles does have a reputation for showing red cards, no one in the Premiership has brandished more than his seventh this season. But no action taken against Sylvester, other than to give the free kick. It was good to see Scholes and Bergkamp get up and shake hands afterwards as well, so maybe that's a sign of good times. <laughs> we'll see if the managers do later. Sure they will. It will be Dennis Bergkamp. Sizing this one up. Hasn't scored yet in the FA Cup this season. And he still hasn't. Keane, I think it was tripped then by Bergkamp. Despite his protest to the contrary, Keane, who will relish the occasion, such a winner. He says the only finals he really remembers are the two that he lost. One with Nottingham Forest, of course, under uh, Brian Clough, the late Brian Clough, back in 1991. And the other one in 95 with United when Everton got the better of them at Wembley. Here's Mikhail Silvest with Ferdinand. the first choice pairing really and Ferguson has stuck with that today despite losing Neville and Hense free kick to Arsenal as Vieira took a tumble he was the meat in the sandwich there against Van Nistelrooy and Fletcher you could also see Van Nistelrooy holding on to his shirt as well, couldn't you? 
Torre. Well, Sir Alex Ferguson has scoffed at suggestions that his team might bully Arsenal today, and he points to their disciplinary record, which isn't exactly exemplary, is it? No, what a I point. Think, <laughs> I think both sides have uh, a reputation that uh, if the going gets tough, they have players in the side that are capable of dealing with that. And, uh, you know, we're just seeing... Uh, Sylvester, Sylvester down yeah. there, yeah, the clash with the uh, bird camp. I think it was that long ball down the middle there. Didn't appear to be a lot there, but certainly maybe his, his elbow has just caught him on the side, but certainly no intent. He was just uh, lifting himself up there. I don't think there's any intent in that. And he's just caught the corner of his elbow. It doesn't look a lot of contact there, but certainly Sylvester thinks that it's uh, painful. Well, there is hostility between the two teams as well as so much respect. Not much Christmas card swapping between these two clubs. And the chances of spotting the two managers out socialising with one another. About as likely as Roy Keane and Vieira sharing a summer holiday together, I would think. Sylvester so will be OK, I'm sure. Not quite at his best lately. Of course, he was sent off in the second league meeting of the season at Highbury. When United played so impressively, and deservedly won 4-2 with Ronaldo getting a couple of goals. Here is Silvestre. Arsenal defending a high line against Van Nistelrooy, but he won it well. And this is Rooney. Clattered by Cole. And that may well be a booking. A really heavy challenge by Ashley Cole. Yep, I don't think there's anything to be uh, that Ashley Cole could argue about there. He was late, Rooney had knocked the ball past him there. He committed himself, he couldn't stop himself, and certainly it's a rash challenge, and uh, quite rightly, first one in the book. But his manager was saying beforehand he had no qualms about playing Cole today, despite all his toing and froing from the disciplinary hearing over the, the chatting up inquiry this week. The result of which won't be announced, incidentally, until June the 1st, we gather. Here's Ronaldo. There's Torre. Corner then to United. Which Scholes has gone across to take. Ferdinand has stationed himself on the near post. Van Nistelrooy also in the six-yard box. But no harm done. Well, we expected it to be tight, Ray, and it clearly is going to be that. No, they've got so much respect for each other that uh, when the opposition has got the ball, both the other side just drops back, gets itself into a settled system, which makes it very difficult to play through. And uh, you know, the way this game started here, it's obviously... As we thought before, it might be a set play, it might be a piece of individual brilliance which actually gets the first goal, and then it might open up a little bit more then. A truly global affair this final. Nine different nations represented in the Arsenal starting 11 and seven in Manchester United's. Vieira. Here's Rooney. He has scored three times in the FA Cup this season. His first in the competition. Didn't get any for Everton. He caught two gems, I remember, in the fourth round, wasn't it, Middlesbrough? Sylvester. Now Ferdinand. This is Fletcher who's made a run. Well covered, though, by Senderos. Stocky figure back there, only 20. He has started eight of the last nine in the Premiership. And he's really caught the eye. Good play then from Bearcat. Releasing Gilberto. No coincidence that Arsenal's form improved when he returned from injury. Rob Styles has given a free kick here to United. An offence presumably by Pires.
Arsenal with 87 goals in the Premiership. Manchester United with only 58. It's their worst season in the Premier League in terms of goals. Fine work then by Keane. Scores on to Ronaldo. Van Nistelrooy is up with him, so is Rooney. And Darren Fletcher will have a go from here. Super block though, maybe Vieira, maybe Fabregas. Arsenal so quick to close up down. Here's Rooney. And out strides Patrick Vieira. Nothing to his right. Reyes through the middle, claiming handball there by O'Shea. Not given. Keane to scores. Oh, sloppy touch by him, it led in Fabregas. And the advantage taken up by Reyes, that bad cap. Jose Antonio Reyes again. And dispossessed by Fletcher. Good refereeing though by Rob Stiles, he kept play flowing there. Rather than give the free kick, he's doing his best to keep this game moving. A game of such potential. Bear cap to Lauren. Manhattan then, he was roughed up by Keane and Sylvester between them. He was asked this week, Roy Keane, what sort of game he thought it might be, and he said, totally deadpan, it might be a bit explosive. Well, it hasn't got out of hand yet, but nope. certainly, uh, you know, that was a rash challenge by Sylvester, and he's also in the book. And I think Roy Keane was looking to get a foul as well, to be honest, because he picked up an injury just before clashing with Fabregas. And certainly, I think it's only an injury as he was just winded, but certainly, as you can see him bent over there, I think he's, uh, I think he's taking a blow in, as they say, the lower pit of the stomach. I think he's having a breather. He'll be looking out for somebody, won't he? Cool. Reyes hovering with intent alongside Dennis Bearcat. Reyes, who is such a good finisher, Seems to be settled at Highbury again now. Here is Reyes. Well, it did seem earlier in the season that he might be heading straight back to Spain, but apparently now it's far more likely he will stay. There's no doubt about his talent. No, no, and it's, it's interesting, isn't it? He... He wanted to go back to Spain when he wasn't playing regular. All of a sudden, he's playing every week, and now he's a happy boy. You footballers. <laughs> Confirmation there of the booking for Mikael Silvest. I wouldn't go near Roy Keane for a while if I was Arsenal. Ronaldo. Poor challenge by Lauren. He's been suffering with food poisoning lately. He's OK again now. Here's Ronaldo. John O'Shea, the Irishman, to Sylvester. Now Fletcher, the young Scottish international. On by Rooney, with anticipation by Cole. Here's Vieira. Such a pivotal figure in the midfield for Arsenal. But he can't quite link up with Reyes. Torre. The find of last season. Maybe he's had something of the second season syndrome. Not quite as effective in this one. And lost his way a little bit when Campbell was out. But he's an outstanding athlete. Senderos. He's brought some real steel to that back line. They've been much tighter defensively lately. Plenty of clean sheets for Jens Lehmann. He seems to have got his form and his confidence back. Torre. Cat and mouse football at the moment from Arsenal. Here's Vieira. Play squeezed up into that central third for a moment. But here's Vieira now. Bear cap. Not by Perez. Great ball to Cole. Likewise to Reyes. Skipping away from Silvestre. But can't keep it alive. It's a good passage of play, though, by Arsenal. Very patient, didn't play it forward till they knew there was an opportunity to get it into that last third of the field. And uh, 
I think that's something that the winning side is going to have to do here today because if you keep giving the ball away, then certainly uh, you know sides will punish you on the counter. That was a clash between Keane and Fabregas, which winded the United captain. Ronaldo straight to Philippe Senderos. He's looked cool and composed so far. Here's Wes Brown, put under pressure by Pires, and forced into the error too. No question, when he plays Perez, he adds a, an extra dimension to Arsenal's attacking play. He was rested last week in the defeat at Birmingham, their first for some time in the Premiership, and they really don't look the same team. They miss his ability to link up. Vieira, now Reyes, spotting Lauren here. Ashley Cole's made a dash into the box, so had Reyes. But United neatly playing themselves out of trouble and maybe into a threatening position now with Cristiano Ronaldo. Too quick for Vieira. Back comes Gilberto. So often he cuts things out, reads the situations so well, Gilberto. Well, you have to say that Ronaldo has looked Manchester United's biggest threat in this opening 25 minutes. Whenever he's got the ball, he's looked threatening, and really he's the only player at the moment in Man United's side who has actually looked threatening. Hoping to do so again here against Gilberto. And it's off the Brazilian for a corner kick. Gilberto, who scored here in the Community Shield game at the start of the season, but was then injured in the first league game against Everton, and has only recently come back. He also scored in the uh, Community Shield on his debut against Liverpool. Here's Fletcher, laid off to Rooney! Oh, great stop! Ferdinand's in there, but the flag's up, it won't count. Rio Ferdinand denied his first ever Manchester United goal by the referee's assistant over on that far side, Jim Devine. Well, it's a well-worked corner kick here. You can see when the ball struck, it's a great save by Lehman, but Ferdinand is just offside as the ball is struck there. It's a hairline decision, really, but it's a wonderful work free kick. Rooney's so deadly from there. Lehman saw it late, got a foot to it. Ferdinand thought he'd got glory, but just offside. You see on that left-hand side there, he's just offside him and probably Bill Van Nistelrooy as well. I'll tell you what, that is some, some save from Jens Lehman. His well, reaction's there. Well, he saw it so late, there was no way to get his hands to it. It was an instant getting his right foot there and somehow managed to get a block. The first German to play in the FA Cup final since Bert Troutman back in 1956, and he played on with a broken neck. What is it about you goalkeepers? You're all mad. Here's Pires. Now it's warming up. Vieira. Thought about a strike on goal, but servicing Gilberto instead. Prepared to be patient. Now Colo Torre stepping up. Gilberto to Vieira. United content just to back off, hope to soak it up, and they have succeeded. As Dennis Bergkamp looks towards the referee for sympathy, but gets none. Over 100 appearances now in the United jersey for Rio Ferdinand. Yet to score. One fleeting moment he thought he had. And in the cup final too, that needs to Roy. Great run by him, it's Rooney! Fantastic save by Jens Lehm. Really stretched himself there. Such elasticity to deny Rooney. Well, wonderful play by Van Nistelrooy. Ashley Cole just slipped there, but Van Nistelrooy raced past him. Rooney pulled off, and it's a great strike by Rooney, but an equally good save by Lehm. Straight at him, but it's still coming at him with pace. Such an instinctive strike, such outstanding technique from Rooney. This time he's forced the corner. This is that opportunity again. Van Nistelrooy looks, looks up and Rooney has no hesitation in hitting that first time. And look at Lehman in a good position there, just palms it over the bar, but it took good reflexes to get that over there. And he has his critics, Jens Lehman, 
but he reminded us there that he really is a, a class goalkeeper. Rooney! Just doesn't give it a second thought, does he? Well, it's amazing, isn't it? We've seen nothing of him for 30 minutes, and then in the last two minutes, he's had three or four shots, and that's a difficult ball to strike, but he's hit it tremendous, and it's just over that crossbar there, but uh, Rooney loves a shot from outside the box, and we've just seen three efforts there. Any one of them could have finished up in the net for Man United. It is natural talent, but what it also is, Ray, is hours and hours of practice on the training ground from Rooney. It certainly is, and having worked with him at England level, uh, you're totally right. You have to sometimes drag him off the training ground because he wants to keep practising his shooting all the time. You can drag him off if you want to, I'd leave him out there. Here's Fabregas. Now Gilberto. Lauren. Cross comes O'Shea. It's feisty, just as Sir Alec Ferguson told us it would be. But already some memorable moments in the 2005 FA Cup final. Past the half-hour mark, Arsenal nil, Manchester United nil. The chances at both ends. Key to Wes Brown. That was Fletcher. Maybe asking too much, though, of Van Nistelrooy against the pace of Torre. Lehmann, who's been saying he feels much fresher now, he's reduced his training programme. Didn't sulk when he was left out of the team a while back. And he's fought his way back to find his form again, as he's already emphasised in this game. Now O'Shea. He put through his own goal last week against Southampton. Fletcher. Really started the semi-final win last season when Skulls here got the only goal between these two clubs. And clearly the manager remembered that. Here's Rooney, trying to battle his way past Colo Torre. I think he was looking for that there. Yes, I think he, uh, he knew he'd lost the ball there and just went down hoping that he just might get a free kick, but uh, certainly no real contact made in my mind. No question of the occasion getting to Wayne Rooney, nothing, it seems, can phase him. And remember, he's still only 19. Seems to have been around for ages. Here's Keane, who's a little older. Now scores. Three times an FA Cup winner, Ronaldo. Now it's Rooney. Scholes is up with it. Guess who's there? Gilberto to break it up. Reyes. It's been a strong spell for Manchester United. As yet without reward. Lauren. Reyes to Fabregas. Times you know this season, Fabregas. More than some of the other regulars. He's hardly taken a breather. He's been very, very impressive. Pires. Well, when you think for Arsenal this year, they've got Sandros at the back and Fabregas in the midfield. Two young players who at the start of the season, if they'd have had a couple of games each, people would have thought, well, that's progress for them. But the pair of them have really put their names on the team sheet to be, you know, big players for Arsenal next year as well. Vieira. Now Pires. No way past Roy Keane. Down goes Fletcher. And he was man handled. By Cesc Fabregas. Another who seems to play without any burden of pressure on his shoulders. So far, so good for Rob Styles. He's been spot on. O'Shea. There have been some who doubted the wisdom of appointing Styles. He's answered his critics so far. This is Lehman. That's out for a corner. 
Well, I think the, the linesman over the far side there, he looked at Lehman when he grabbed the ball, that he pulled it back from behind the line. It was deflected by Lauren, and you can just see there. For me, that still Sneaky. looks as though it's in, the, in play, and how the linesman from the far side can actually say that wasn't, I'm not sure. Here's Ronaldo. Out comes Lehman. It's the right decision, too. And quickly releasing Robert Pires, who's on his way here for Arsenal. Only Reyes was right up top. That was Rooney to win it back for United. Or rather, Keane initially, now it's Rooney. But he was going nowhere. As his path to goal is blocked. Ashley Cole. As expected, so little to choose between these two teams. Two gladiators slugging it out. Well, Reyes. There's been no goals yet, but there's been some wonderful plays, some good attacking players we've seen by Rooney. We've seen some good defensive players as well from Sanderos and people like that, so there's lots out there to see, even though we haven't yet seen a goal. What odds would you give me on a goal to straw? There's never been one in a cup final. No, I think there'll be a goal, I really do. Uh, it might take the second half until maybe towards the last third of the game and maybe one or two might just get a little bit tired and all of a sudden one or two gaps appear, but... Uh, you know, I think there's too much talent out there, you would think, for somebody not to produce a little bit of magic that will get a goal. Here's Brown, who got his first in the Premiership recently in the win over Newcastle. Now Fletcher. A fine headed goal by him against Southampton last week. Scores. Threaded through towards Rude Van Nistelrooy. Maybe a little isolated up there at times, Van Nistelrooy, but such a threat to goal. He's got some record at the FA Cup, he's got 14 goals, and they've all been doubles. Including two last year, of course, in the final. When Sven Goran Eriksson made him man of the match, and he didn't agree, and made the trophy to Ronaldo. Clemens can't really comment on that as soon as his boss. <laughs> Here's Torre. He's a very good judge. Yes, yes, yes. Now Cole. <laughs> it goes Fletcher. Really tenacious and tigerish in the midfield. But there is a lot more to United's play, a lot more to their game than just being merely physical. Silvestre. Up to Ferdinand. Now Brown, it's not an unfamiliar role, of course, for him to be at right back. He really prefers to be in the centre. <laughs> Philippe Senderos. Came from Servette in Switzerland, his homeland. Certainly took a while to make a mark, mainly because he was out injured. He missed nearly all of last season. The boys he made an impact lately in this one. Pires. The man who scored the winner against Southampton back in 2003 here. Now it's Laura. With anticipation by Rio Ferdinand. Likewise from Vieira. Pires. Across imperiously comes Ferdinand. He still hasn't signed his new contract offer. Which hasn't gone down at all well with the United fans who feel he should be showing more loyalty. And he intends to bide his time. Ten seconds. <laughs> that long? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what is the difference between 110 and 120, which you want some? <laughs> it's a game of tactics, of course, this, as well as bodies. Hansen Wenger with plenty to think about as he tries to outfox the old enemy. Here's Keane. Now Brown, 
Wayne Rooney. He's had those two fearsome strikes on goal. O'Shea on to Ronaldo. Always a danger, you feel. He's bent that one too far for that Neusteroy. Also for O'Shea, who made a charge into the box. It is a match winner, Cristiano Ronaldo. Yeah, he'll be disappointed with that cross as he will with another couple yeah. of crosses he's put in, but certainly he's showed that he's got the ability to cause Lauren a problem or two this afternoon. I think the more that United can get the ball to him, the more opportunity they'll have for attacking situations. Well, the sun's out now in Cardiff in the Millennium Stadium. And this game is so evenly poised between these giants of the English game. Two teams still smarting the pair of them at Chelsea's overwhelming domination this season in the Premiership. Both vowing to put that right next season. O'Shea. It was a teasing ball, but Lehman comes to collect, and the flag was up anyway. Only one winner, and such a tough one to call, given their intense rivalry. Their FA Cup pedigrees, big reputations on the line today. And all over the field, plenty of personal battles. And Easterroy is saying beforehand he hoped he wouldn't turn into personal vendettas. He's certainly been involved in a few. Here's Brown. Just a moment of discomfort there for Roy Carroll. O'Shea somewhat fortuitously finding Ronaldo. Pass Lauren, but he was having none of it. Seven finals in all. Also, Alex Ferguson. He's captain Roy Keane, hoping to pick up the trophy for the third time. Here is Keane now. Four times a winner overall. It's been the skipper twice. Where's Brown? Now Keane. The pace has just slackened off a little, right? Well, we are now getting into that last two or three minutes before half time where neither side wants to make a mistake. They'll know how close it is and therefore maybe we'll not commit quite so much and we're happy to go in at half-time nil-nil where the two managers can have their say and maybe change one or two things tactically. Keane. Now Brown. And he's to Roy with a splendid turn. Didn't need power behind the shot, though. Back into form lately, Van Nistelrooy. He certainly has, but he'll be disappointed here. He turns Sander off really and then gets himself to a good shooting position, but certainly wraps his foot around the ball and takes all the pace out of it. He'll be disappointed with that because he did create a good opportunity for himself off the back of uh, using Sandros's body weight to turn. Two goals in the semi for Van Nistelrooy after he'd gone through a barren spell since returning from injury. Well, the manager has admitted maybe he brought him back too soon. In the last few games, looking much more like his old self. Almost into stoppage time at the end of the first half. It'll be just one extra minute. Senderos to Colo Torre, the man from the Ivory Coast. There's Thierry Henry. No part for him then in today's final. Whereas Mike Ferguson probably still doesn't believe it. He did say if he doesn't appear, I will hold my hands up and admit I was wrong. He won't do yet, you know. Here's Perez. Rooney. Senderos, well aware of the presence there of Van Nistelrooy. Just lurking behind him.
finisher extraordinaire, Thierry Henry. 30 goals this season. Came back briefly from injury. And then there was a recurrence of the problem. Pires from Vieira's pass. Good vision shown by Vieira. United unhinged at the back. Sylvester to Van Nistelrooy. Just managing to scoop it away before he was confronted. Closed down by Vieira. Senderos. Now Rooney. And it's strength here. Great run by Rooney. A superb tracking back by Cole. Down goes Rooney. I think referee Styles was trying to allow the advantage there. There clearly wasn't one. And rightly, blew for the foul. Yes, definitely. Uh, he did well there, Rob Styles. When Rooney stumbled, it went to Scholes, and it looked as though Scholes might have a chance. But this is a fantastic run by Rooney. This is what he's capable of. He's gone past three players there. It takes a great tackle from Ashley Cole, to be fair. But he still doesn't give up. He still keeps going. There's the foul, and it didn't break correctly for Scholes. Starting one way, then the other. He threw me, I went with him, and that's worth terrific stuff. So right at the end of the first half, a chance here for Manchester United, maybe for Rooney, maybe for Scholes. Ronaldo's not interested. Wayne Rooney, who is United's leading scorer this season, with 17 in all. Not a bad return in his first campaign. For Manchester United, the FA Cup holders. Here is Rooney, but he didn't live up to the build-up, and that is the last piece of action from an absorbing first half. It certainly had his moments. Rio Ferdinand thought he'd given United the lead, but that was chalked off for offside. Some terrific shooting from Wayne Rooney, but equally so, some outstanding goalkeeping so from Jens Lehmann to keep him out. Arsenal have had their moments too, but at half-time in the FA Cup final in the Millennium Stadium in Cardiff, it is Arsenal nil, Manchester United nil. United nil at the halfway stage. Ray Clements alongside me. I'm hearing there are no changes for either team. So how do you think it's going to shape up from here on? Well, it doesn't surprise me there are no changes because there's nobody out there of the 22 that's had a particularly poor game. 
It's just been very, very competitive, and there has been some outstanding moments of individual brilliance, but we actually haven't seen the ball go in the back of the net yet. I think it'll probably stay the same early on. I just think that Bergkamp in the first half has got isolated. Arsenal are not getting enough support into the box when they do get forward, and that's something we talked about early on in the game. And although Arsenal in the first 25 minutes had the best amount of possession, it was United who looked in the last 20 minutes and decided we're going to score. Nobody real favourites for this game. Although Arsenal were saying United have to be because, of course, they've had this good run against the Gunners lately. Arsenal beat, or have beat Manchester United only once in the last nine competitive meetings. Nothing to choose between them so far. Of course, those successes included the double in the Premiership. Thrilling 4-2 win at Highbury to follow the 2-0 victory by United at Old Trafford in the Battle of the Buffet, as it was known. Bun fight at the Old Trafford Corral. All the, the food throwing afterwards and various other incidents as well. Why waste good food? That's what I say. We'll never hear the end of it. Here's Reyes on his way here for Arsenal. Now bear cap. Cesc Fabregas on to Vieira. Perez, unlucky there. He's seen that run of Ashley Cole, but now the England fullbacks out of position. Can United capitalise on it? That needs to Roy. Wayne Rooney, who came as close as anyone to scoring in the first half. A massive investment in him, of course, by Manchester United. Around 27 million. The manager will tell you, in two or three years, he expects him to be worth double that. That's how sound an investment he considers it to be. Vieira. Another fascinating struggle between Vieira and Keane in central midfield. Lark. Trying to dodge away from Scholes, who did bring him down. Now Fabregas probing with Bergkamp. Now Perez has made himself available. Bergkamp ahead of him. Can't keep it going, though. Bergkamp, who is still waiting to hear, then, if Arsene Wenger is going to offer him another year's contract. The fans certainly want him to stay, his teammates want him to. And the feeling is that he will be at Highbury for that extra year. Ronaldo. Upended by Lauren. He has been a thorn in the side of so many teams this season, Ronaldo. In the marvellous cup final a year ago against Millwall. Will he be the scourge of Arsenal now in this second half? A game that has so nearly come to the boil. Maybe needs one major moment to ignite it. Rooney, who could oblige. Trying to take off Cole. That's great defending, though, by Cole. Now Rooney again. Still wait, Rooney! And it spins away, offset the Ross for a corner. But he's in the mood, is Rooney. Well, it's a marvellous battle between him and Ashley Cole, isn't it? It really is. One minute Rooney's in, in the ascens ascendancy, and then Cole gets in a great tackle, and uh, he's having to go inside to try and get away from Cole to create a bit of space for himself. Ronaldo's corner. It's not a good one, though. Straight to Perez. And if he is distracted, Ashley Cole, by that disciplinary hearing this week, the inquiry into the tapping up, the so-called tapping up, he's not showing it. Reminding us yet again that he is one of the best left-backs now in world football. Ferdinand. What's he doing up there? Still Rio Ferdinand. Super rough by him. Again, it's broken up by Gilberto. When he suffered that back injury, you know, Gilberto, back in the opening week of the league season, Arsenal lost their backbone. And now that he's back, they do look so much stronger, so much better organised in midfield. 
And he does give that back line some protection too as he underlined again. Here's Roy Keane. Now Ronaldo, the Portuguese international, on to Scholes. A cleverly weighted pass for Wes Brown. Fletcher. Ronaldo and Van Nistelrooy here right up top. It goes Scholes. Surely uh, Van Nistelrooy was in an offside position there. Didn't get the service anyway. Quick feet from Reyes. Now, has he got more acceleration in him? Bearcamp trying to stay onside, but he failed. He's guilty sometimes of not looking up Reyes, but he did then, weighing up the options around him. But Bergkamp had just got too soon. Here's Brown. Van Nistelrooy setting off into the middle. Oh, couldn't quite match on to it. Lauren. To spare Arsenal defensive blushes. Well, certainly it's Man United who have started the first five minutes of the second half as they finish the end of the first half, really, in the ascendancy, pushing Arsenal back, and Arsenal can't get any quality possession of the ball at all at the moment. Darren Fletcher to Rooney. Fletcher again, he's covered so much ground. You can see why his manager rates him so highly. A oh, great ball from Van Nistelrooy to Keane. And Rooney arrived on that near post, so nearly converted the opportunity. Fantastic defending by Toure there, though. Roy Keane gets around the back, and Toure somehow just gets in front of Wayne Rooney there. But it really is great play from Roy Keane there, gets around the back of Ashley Cole. And just look at Toure's tackle. So quick into the ball first. Scholes will take this corner. Looking for the likes of Van Nistelrooy and Ronaldo. And Wes Brown, who's come up for the back two. So is Sylvester. This is Keane. All the way back to John O'Shea. Now Fletcher. It's a really good footballer, this fellow. This man can be a genius. Ronaldo! Well, his manager thinks he can go on to be an even better player than Figo, and you can see why with some of the football that he comes up with. Oh, he has got a marvellous ability, he really has. And it's just that finishing ball at times, and that shot there just off the outside of his foot, and therefore he just managed to slice wide there and didn't really trouble Jans Lehmann. But certainly the ability the lad's got, and you'd, you would hope that with experience his final ball will become better, his final shot will become better, and if it does, then you have got a, an amazing play on your hands. Four goals from Ronaldo in the FA Cup so far this season. One more, and he'll be into double figures overall in competitive games for United during the campaign. Two goals, remember. I think around four minutes to uh, at Highbury in the 4-2 win. Rooney now, bearing down on goals. Still Wayne Rooney. Didn't quite fall for scores, but here's Fletcher. United in the ascendancy, but can they find a goal? That was Vieira's challenge. Then Torre, happy just to clear. Not quite panic back there, but certainly moments of concern for the Gunners. And now they've conceded a free kick as well. Much to Lawrence's disgust. Pat Rice there, the old Arsenal fullback. Right hand man to Arsene Wenger. Seeing his team under a little bit of pressure here now. Ronaldo beat himself and the corner flag. Whoops. Little flashpoint there with Lauren. Well, it was over nothing as well, wasn't it? You know, the two of them have clashed there. <laughs> 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 Lawrence. Trying very hard to get the ball over, just missed. And <laughs> so I felt that up here. Yeah. But there's no need for him to, to react like that afterwards. And hopefully that isn't the start of things to come because this game has been played in a wonderful spirit con considering how competitive it has been. I could just see Gary Neville going through his paces there behind the goal line, one of the subs. I thought he was going to tackle him as well then. Here's Keane. 
Gary Neville, who is missing out on the game so far because of a groin injury. But among the United subs, others include Ryan Giggs. Perez for Arsenal. Almost ten minutes into the second half. And now this final is coming to life. The first half wasn't bad. I'll tell you what, it's going to get better. Yes, I think we've seen more free kicks given in this first ten minutes of the second half than we saw all the first half, so certainly it is warming up, and uh, players need to keep their heads, otherwise there's going to be silly bookings and maybe, you know, maybe a sending off. But let's hope not, let's look at the positive things that have happened in this game. There haven't been too many first-half goals in FA Cup finals in Cardiff. Most of them have come in the last 20 minutes or so. So sit tight, don't go away. And fasten your seatbelts. Here's Dennis Bergkamp. Ronaldo back on defensive duty now. Skipping away from Lauren, who left his leg trailing anyway. Not sure he needed to stop there. Referee Styles, but he's given the free kick against Lauren. Uh, I think he's going to speak to Lauren and say, look, I saw you tackle in the corner before, and I've let you away with that. That's another rash challenge there, which you've got away with. And it, that's the last time I'm going to be warning you. The next time you're going to be in the book without a shadow of a doubt. I think you're absolutely right. That's just what he was saying. Well, Arsene Wenger says he wants protection for his players. The offender there was certainly Lauren. Quite sure what Arsene Wenger is saying. On we go. Who will break through here? Arsenal nil, Manchester United nil. This clash of the titans. Football's very own Star Wars. Another free kick. Perez shoved by Brown. Now Gilberto. Here's Colo Torre. Too long. Lauren away from Ronaldo. Now, young Fabregas. Eating up the ground now as he ventures forward for Arsenal. Up by Perez to Cole. Oh, dear. All that praise I gave him just now. <laughs> got to his head. No, well, I mean, Ashley Cole has not got forward many times in this game, and Arsenal rely on him to get down that left-hand side, particularly when Perez pushes in inside from the, on the left. And when he gets in those positions, he really just needs to deliver a quality ball, and that was, by anybody's standards, awful. More fitting for rugby. Sir Clive Woodward in the crowd today. Alongside Alistair Campbell, I think there's Johnny Wilkinson too. Scholes off to Wes Brown. United hoping to get an Arsenal throats again. There's Ashley Cole in the way. No foul on Brown. By Patrick Vieira. The linchpin in Arsenal's midfield. Can he overstep the mark here? Well, I think it shows that Arsenal are rattled by Man United's possession. And Arsene Wenger's showing it there as well, yeah, because it's Arsenal that are giving away all the silly free kicks at the moment and inviting United to come on to them. The game neither team dare lose. Finish the season without a trophy, it's unthinkable. Doesn't happen too often. Kane Lehman unruffled in that Arsenal goal. I think I said in the first half he was the first German since uh, Bert Traum. And of course, there have been uh, outfield players, I think the first goalkeeper. Liverpool had a couple, didn't they? Outfield players, Steve Brown Hammond and Marcus Babel. Freddie Jungberg there, wasn't it? Yes, I think it's Freddie Jungberg. It, it wouldn't surprise me if, you know, in the next five or ten minutes that Arsenal does make a change, because Man United are getting far too much possession of the ball. Uh, Bergkamp really is not getting in the game this second half, and neither is Reyes. Reyes is chasing around, 
not getting on the ball in those wide positions, and maybe he might just do better up the front. That's a stupendous ball there from Mikhail Silbrest to Wayne Rooney, who certainly keep it Cole fully occupied back there for Arsenal. Cole helped out here by Robert Pires. Arsenal still on the back foot. Where's Brown? That needs to Roy. Almost got off the end of it. Then Roy Keane. Keane, who has got a couple of goals this season, including one in the FA Cup. It's Southampton. O'Shea. Now Ronaldo. The pace is quickening. Hot by Ronaldo to Rooney. Van Nistelrooy is in the middle with scores. Van Nistelrooy! Always seem to be slightly off balance there. It would have been some goal. Well, it was an incisive attack, wasn't it? Ronaldo showing pace here. Picks out Rooney on that right hand side. And I think the ball into Van der Sarroy, obviously behind him, is a little bit off balance. It would have been a fantastic goal if he'd have got that on target. But he's all off balance there, as you can see when he's trying to do it. He can never get his foot wrapped around the ball to get it down on target. But good attacking move again by Ronaldo and Rooney. But United are clicking, imposing themselves on Arsenal. Senderos. Reyes. Here's the Spaniard again, Jose Antonio Reyes on the back cap. Ferdinand forcing him out, though. Reyes trying to wriggle his way through. United having none of it. Rooney, deep ball for Fletcher. Now Cristiano Ronaldo taking on Lauren. He was too quick for it, and too much stealth, too much guile, and it's a booking for Lauren. Well, Rob Styles warned him one more tackle, and you're in the book. And that again was a tackle. He just doesn't seem to be able to cope with uh, Ronaldo's pace and trickery. And he's had a problem with him all the game, and now he's on a knife's edge. Now he can't afford another mistake, otherwise, he's going to have that long walk to the dressing room. Lauren with two FA Cup wins behind him, but his team are up against it now, you feel. United sensing a goal. Sensing a breakthrough. Keane is there and scores at Ronaldo. Here's Ronaldo. Getting closer, but not close enough. It was a good effort, though, had Jans Lehmann stretching for it. Jans Lehmann wasn't sure that was going over, he had to go after it. He gets it over there, it's dipping, but it just won't come down enough. But Jans Lehmann was certainly worried by the pace and the dip on that ball. Past the hour mark now. Still we await the first goal. But it's a pulsating game now, gripping viewing. The FA Cup may not have been a priority for these two teams at the start of the season, it certainly is now. Wayne Rooney, strong challenge though by Vieira. Now Silvestre, on to Ferdinand. I think that's out of play, yes, Brown well behind the line and the ball was over as well. Paul Canadine flagging down on this near side. Fabregas. Ashley Cole. Arsenal, I think, preparing to bring on Jungberg in a moment or two. He's only just come back from injury. In fact, there had been a major scare about that. Thankfully, it hasn't turned out to be too serious. That's a foul. By John O'Shea. Chance here for Arsenal. They've not had too many in this second half. It's been mainly United. Reyes set crashing to the ground. Dennis Bergkamp taking on the responsibility for this set piece. As Torre and Setneros make their way into the box. Vieira's up as well. And Gilberto. Throws it in by Bearcap. And a fall for Pires! 
I just had one eye on him. He sneaked in round the back, you know, then dropped off. He was in a threatening position, but a poor finish. Yes, it was. And you saw he put his hands to his face there because he knows at this level of game, this is an opportunity, and he's bullied it so high and wide. He's got to hit the target there. Here comes Freddy. No, it doesn't surprise me this. You know, Bergkamp's done a good job, but it's not really his position playing up the field on his own. He likes to come as a second striker. And I'm sure now Reyes will go up and do that job. And also with Freddie Youngberg coming on now, he's one that will break forward and get and join the front player. And it's, how many times have we seen him getting beyond back fours? And certainly in the first half and certainly at the start of the second half, Arsenal have not had anybody getting beyond uh, uh, Man United's back four. Well, he proved his fitness a week ago in the defeat at Birmingham. Freddie Ljungberg, I think, been out for a month or so. If he scores today, he'll become only the second man to score in three FA Cup finals. Ian Rush on target five times for Liverpool. Ronaldo, who scored last year. That needs to Roy! Oh! Good chance, good chance. Just flicked at it as it flew past him. Fletcher, that needs to Roy again. And it's hacked away by Colo Torre. Arsenal wobbling. Keane. On to O'Shea. Now Ronaldo. Another angle pass from Sylvester. What a good one it is too. Picking out Rooney, he's hit the post. Up comes Fletcher. Goodness me, that was close. Well, I'd like to think that Rooney saw Lehman move off the near post there. I'm not sure he did. I think it was a missed kick, but it might have sneaked in. But Rooney's involved in everything at the moment. You see Lehman leave that gap there, and Rooney's trying to drive it in there. I Just think his body language suggests that he. He wasn't going for goal, wasn't going for that angle oh, no. anyway. He just sort of turned away, didn't he? And as if to say, oh, no, what have I done? And all of a sudden, he's hit the post. A scare, a let-off for Arsenal. Back up United again, Cristiano Ronaldo. Might go all the way here, that needs to Roy! Only inches away. Well, United, as we said, the start this second half started well and now they're creating chance after chance now. The only worry for United fans, I would think, is that I seem to remember a game against West Brom recently where they had loads and loads of chances and finished up not winning the game. But certainly, Ronaldo now, Lauren is scared to death to tackle him because he knows one missed time tackle and he's going off the field. And if they keep getting the ball to Ronaldo now, there's going to be more and more opportunities. And as I say, Rooney on the right-hand side as well, he's getting more involved, and it's spelling big trouble for Arsenal at the moment. Somehow it remains goalless. Still on a knife edge. She'd like a goal. He's just told her it's still nil-nil. It's exciting stuff, you know, here's Senderos. Perez. Can Arsenal get up ahead of steam here? Reyes. Arsenal felt he was singled out for some rough stuff in the league game at Old Trafford. And in Jutberg. No doubt about it, though, Reyes has got stronger since then, since that meeting in October. And United have pointed out there were only three tackles on him. Hardly the chainsaw, the Texas chainsaw massacre, said Ferguson. Ashley Cole. Now Gilberto. It's a fight pass for Ljungberg. Might be in the clear here. Freddy Ljungberg. Head to Reyes. United, though, slamming the defensive door shut, denying them potentially a goal scoring opportunity. Off comes Ruth van Nistelrooy. Rooney ahead of him. Brown in support down the right here. Nothing wrong with that challenge from Vieira, that was perfectly timed. And he's striking blue boots. But they've been second best for a spell now, Arsenal. 
Can they respond? Fabregas, too short there with the pass, although Fletcher had a boot raised against Cole. You just wonder in the not too distant future if Arsene Wenger might think about bringing Edu on as well because Fabregas has done well, but it's a massive game. And I just look at him at the moment and thinking he's losing the battle in there at the moment. And uh, somebody like Edu is that, uh, although he's leaving Arsenal at the end of the year, always has an influence when he comes off the bench. And just about to find an opening or two with his flair, his Brazilian flair. Fabregas. Now Lyukberg, Laurent setting off down the right, this is Fabregas, Gilberto. Beautiful ball, Laurent. Ashley Cole's made a run into the box, Reyes to Gilberto. A collision right on the edge of that box, we're a fair distance away from our vantage point up in the commentary box. Not really sure from here, but... The protests weren't too strong, were they? No, I think it was a 50-50 challenge, and the two of them got tangled up, and it looked ugly, but I don't think there was a, a justification for a penalty there. Vieira, coaxing it on to Gilberto. Now Reyes, deceiving O'Shea initially, did well then to, to redeem himself, the Irishman. Here's another one, Keane. On to O'Shea. Really gives it away, Roy Keane. Ronaldo. And his presence allows the likes of Ronaldo to express himself. As he was certainly doing there, he's got a free kick. Too much for Torre. Well, Ronaldo doesn't need any excuse to fall over. Say, and, uh, <laughs> and the slightest touch there, and he was down. And, but it gives United again a free kick in a very dangerous position, one that we've just seen not too far away from the position that Ronaldo just put it over before, but I would imagine Rooney will fancy his chances here, and it might well be him that has a go here. Ronaldo says he's curbed his tendency for diving. Not seen too much evidence of it lately, though. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time it's happened in, in matches in this last part of the season. Certainly there was one in the Newcastle semi-final, I remember. Anyway, here's Wayne Rooney. Skulls on the scene as well. But all eyes on Rooney. That was some force. And a fairly routine take for Jens Lehmann. Yes, they'd be happy with that because uh, Rooney hits it exactly where he was stood and it was a very simple save for him. Ashley Cole. He punched that, surely. The referee saw nothing wrong, Rob Styles. It was only one hand. <laughs> Here's O'Shea, who's was just struggling a little at the moment, maybe with an injury. Not moving too freely just now. Got a calf problem, apparently, I'm hearing from the sidelines. And now he has more cause for concern. I'll tell you what, Gary Neville will be champing at the bit to get out there, won't he? Yeah, he certainly will. I think if they lost the goalkeeper, Neville will want to come on. Well, he's had one success in the Ferguson family here in Cardiff already this season. His son Darren, of course, is in the Wrexham team. They won the uh, LDV Vance Trophy. Well, who is going to pick up the real one at the end of this fixture? This meeting of juggernauts. Well, if O'Shea has to come off, it'll be interesting who they do bring on because Quinton Fortune's played left back. And yeah. uh, to bring Gary Neville on, even with all his experience, it would mean disrupting the whole back four. So uh, I would have thought if he does come off, Quinton Fortune might be the one that will replace him. Jungberg giving Arsenal some width here. Reyes for Jungberg. Can he pull it back? Oof. It was a near thing. As Roy Carroll gratefully accepts possession. Well, that's what we talked about. Jungberg getting in behind them. He just can't pick out Ashley Cole there, otherwise it would have been a golden opportunity. But it's now Arsenal in his last two or three minutes that are starting to get in the ascendancy. The pendulum has swung. Vieira 
In goes Fletcher. Out by Ferdinand to Brown. Now Vieira. Goal kick to Manchester United. Just over a quarter of an hour to go. Quinton Fortune is going to come on. Presumably then in place of John O'Shea. I think he's done well when he's coming to the team, Fortune. Good solid performer. He's shown real consistency when given the chance. The South African international. Here's O'Shea, might be his final contribution. It's not a bad one, it's released Ronaldo. Scholes, no, didn't get a connection before Vieira. Reyes. Sylvestre, who is certainly no slouch back there. For all the speed of the mark of Reyes. And this time it's him dishing it out. Yellow card too. For Reyes. Yeah, it was a stupid challenge by Reyes, really. He was never going to get the ball. Sylvester is always the favourite. Look, he's always going to be late and clatters into the back of Sylvester. It really is a, a silly challenge and a, and a silly booking, really. The young man who says he wants to stay on then at Highbury, and make his commitment to the club. Time, John O'Shea is replaced then by Quentin Fortune. And he did well. He'll just slot in down that left side. Ferdinand to Fletcher. Van Nistelrooy staying onside. Got a bullish challenge from Senderos. United for the moment can make no headway. Let's see what Ferdinand can do here. Mikhail Silvestre, then to Quinton Fortune. Fletcher. Rooney. Taking on Cole, but shoving him. But it's a fascinating struggle between these two, isn't it? Rooney and Cole. Well, it has, because I say one minute, one's in the ascendancy, then the other one's in the ascendancy. It's really been a fantastic battle between the two of them. It certainly has. It's Urs Meyer, the uh, referee, isn't it? I think he'll have been impressed by it. Rob Styles. Well, there was a lot of criticism of his uh, his appointment in this cup final that he might not be able to control it and he might finish up booking players willy nilly and getting people sent off. But certainly so far for me, Rob Styles has had an excellent game and, and booked the ones that he should have done and he's let game, the game flow as much as he possibly can. And Jeff Winter, who refereed last season's cup final, said. Uh, for a couple of meetings recently, uh, Arsenal against Manchester United, they were unrefereable. I don't think I know what he means, but it's not been the case today. They have kept emotions in check, at least in the point, but they haven't boiled over. Here's Rooney. But this game may yet have a few twists in the tail. So many players out there capable of coming up with a match-winning contribution. Actually, this fellow, Rooney, well, he's so dangerous when he runs at you like that, and he commits people, and he commits, he puts the ball in areas where you've got to try and tackle him. And uh, he's so quick with his feet that uh, he'll get free kicks like that. Everybody back defending for Arsenal. Ronaldo fetching his chances again. Darren Fletcher alongside, but I'm sure it will be Ronaldo. Such a mercurial footballer, what can he come up with here? Five in that Arsenal war, here is Ronaldo. 
didn't quite get it right. No, that one didn't trouble Lehman at all. Uh, not as close as the other effort, that's a certainty. But, uh, if you keep giving free kicks away central like that, eventually one of, the, one of these quality strikers will get his range and will cause Lehman a problem. Generally, as I was saying earlier, they've had problems scoring goals in the Premiership. Manchester United, only Rooney on 11, actually got into double figures. Here is Rooney now. Played by Senderos. Pires to Gilberto. It's only his 17th appearance of the season, Gilberto. After that lengthy spell out injured. Ronaldo looking to create some problems, some havoc again. But across comes Fabregas. Now he's given it away to Fortune. Ronaldo. And it was Lauren to the rescue for Arsenal. In the card of Sunshine. In the Millennium Stadium. There were 70,000 here. And totally, totally immersed in this cup final. Which stood, could, could still yet go either way. Jose Antonio Reyes. Brought down by Scholes. Quietish match from Scholes so far. Yes, we haven't seen a lot of him, to be fair, but he's done his job in the middle of the field like so many players. You know, they're, they're working so hard against each other that it's difficult to actually shine. And uh, certainly, Scholes has, has done his more than his fair share of work in there. But, and we've seen a few of those wonderful long balls that he can play. But we haven't seen him being in that last third of the field where he can be deadly and breaking into the box. He hasn't, I don't think he's arrived in the box on one occasion so far. Oh, so I tell a lie from the first header he had. <laughs> but apart from that, your memory's gone. Here's Scholes. Rooney's after it. Checking where Brown is, might not need him. Still Rooney. Look at his power there. Well, that's a foul. And he can it into him. How do you stop him? Maybe some player when he grows up. <laughs> when he gets his full strength, goodness knows. Well, at times he has illuminated this season. His first, of course, with Manchester United. Some wonderfully inspired moments. One or two unsavoury ones as well. But there's no doubt he is going to be, if he's not now, a player of the very, very highest class. Great news for England fans. Ferdinand. Flags up against Van Nistelrooy. Well, we're heading towards extra time. It has to be settled today, of course. Extra time and a penalty shootout, if need be, available. It was never a goalless draw, as I was saying earlier on at Wembley. There was one before that, 1912, Barnsley and West Brom. Some game, I think, Ray, wasn't it, that day? <laughs> well, you were telling me about it. Here's Gilberto. Pires. Now Senderos. Can one of these two great teams find a winner? Patrick Vieira. Now Ljotberg. Lauren on the overlap. Vieira. Faced by that massed United defence. Lauren. Arsenal prepared to be patient here. Vieira. Only Van Nistelrooy left upfield for United. I think they can keep their defensive shape. Nobody wants to make a mistake now. Vieira. Perez. An unkind ricochet, though. Gifting possession back to United. Torre. Now Ronaldo, was a buzz of anticipation around Cardiff when he's on the ball. Settling for the corner, which will be the signal for Brown to advance, and Ferdinand and Sylvester. 
and for Arsenal to pull back their defensive troops. And they have all come back. Ronaldo will take it. Attention mounting now. Here is Ronaldo. Oh, the keeper didn't get there. Raymond lost it. Here's Roy Keane. Trying to batter it through. And it was Patrick Vieira, the opposing skipper, who was blocking his way. Yeah, it's the first time Lehman's made a little slip there, didn't get to the ball. And I thought Roy Keane was going to hit that first time. He might have had more chance, because having that touch, it allowed Vieira to get in behind Lehman and actually get the block on. A miscalculation by the goalkeeper, but he's got away with it. Does have a tendency to do that from time to time. Paul scores. Again, Lehman to come off his line. Oh, it's off the crossbar from Van Nistelrooy. Again, Lehman was nowhere. Scores. Well, Lehman, so lucky there. Got himself in no man's land, and Van Nistelrooy heads it, and Jungberg on the line makes a fantastic save. An absolute fantastic save. As far as Van Nistelrooy is concerned, this is in, I'm sure. And somehow, Van Lundberg gets it up onto the crossbar. Well, he bailed his keeper out there. Total aberration by Lehman. And Penny Youngberg underlining there the value of having a man on the goal line. Robin Van Persie coming on here for Arsenal. With extra time looming. Only four minutes to go in the 90. Replacing Cesc Fabregas who was hoping to become the youngest man ever to score at a cup final. Not to be. Robin Van Persie, who got two, of course, as a late sub in the semi-final. The win over Blackburn. Well, Van Persie will go up the front now, and uh, Reyes will come out on this left-hand side, and Perez will move in to with Gilberto and Vieira. That's what they'll try and do. Brown is cut out by Senderos. Brown again. Now Rooney. Three in the box for United. Strong challenge by Senderos. Arsenal saviour again. That Percy, no, he's offside. Hard to see the flag over on that far side. But he was clearly off. Fletcher looking for Rooney. Senderos is with it. Just brushed him aside, Rooney. And that's not easy. Senderos has a real muscular presence back there. But then this young fellow has some physique too. He's so strong on the ball. Senderos is one of the strong... He might be young, but he's one of the strongest centre-halves in the Premiership. And certainly Rooney caused him a problem. Paul Scholes. Two and a half minutes on the clock. Ferdinand going in. It's headed out though by Van Persie. Reyes, no, it scores it first. Quentin Fortune. Now Keane. On to Fortune again, fresher than most. Rooney's in the middle, so is Van Nistelrooy. Just for a moment I thought he was going to go to ground there. He thought better of it. Robin Van Persie. Vieira. On to Reyes. Perez. He's got Nuremberg to his right. No real chance of getting there before Fortune, though. Freddy Nuremberg. He thought it was a corner. Referee's assistant did. I think it did come off Fortune, didn't it, in the end? I think it might have done, but the, and the, the referee's assistant didn't want to know about it. He just looked at the referee and let him make the decision. You decide, yeah. <laughs> he paid more than me. That's a foul on Rooney. There'll be three added minutes, a minimum of. The 90 almost up. Fletcher to Scholes. Will there be one final moment of drama here? Before normal time has ended. 
Sylvester. And the offender, according to Rob Styles, was scores. Vieira. Perez. Colo Torre. Nail biting final moments here. Gilberto. Confirmation. There will be three minutes. And they've just started. Colo Torre. Something for Carroll to do. Wayne Rooney. Ruled nothing out while he's on the scene. Ronaldo. Goran for company. Did he run that out? Don't think he did. Still Ronaldo. Good recovery by Lauren. And a very necessary one too. But up comes Keane. Mr. Enforcer to Rooney. Oh! Wasn't that just a bit typical had he put that one away? Well, that would have summed up a, a wonderful season for him if that had gone in, because that's his sort of range. He can cause goalkeepers serious problems from that range, but just gets underneath it slightly, and again, no problems for Lehman. But uh, as they ask the look, a tired side <laughs> at this moment, I have to say. And, uh, you know, if anybody's going to score, you have to say it's going to be United, because Roy Carroll's had probably one of his easiest days in a United shirt, I would think, so far. Almost halfway through those three added minutes. United, in general, have been very tight defensively in the Premiership. I think only Chelsea have conceded less. And they've had the measure for the most part against Arsenal today. But you never know, not with the likes of Perez around. Vieira to Gilberto. Vieira again, you can't take your eyes off this game for a moment. Ronaldo. Vieira trying to stay with it. It's not easy. And surely he tucked him down. More in frustration, despair than anything else. He just couldn't let it through there. No, he knew he was the last man. He's got his hand on the top of his shoulder there, pulling at his shirt. He knows that he's got to do something, and he's risked you know, picking up a booking, which it looks like Rob Styles is not going to book him for that. But certainly, I think a lot of people would have thought that he would have got a booking for that, because certainly he was out running, knew he hadn't got the pace to, to deliver Ronaldo, and uh, he did what a lot of professionals would have done, brought him down there. I think we can take it to Alec Ferguson, thought that warranted a caution from his expression. I think so, yes. Now, I think up here as well we thought there would be a caution. Blow me, said Sir Alex, something like that. Here's Fortune. Plenty to aim for in the middle. Off Vieira, back hit by Van Nistelrooy. Rooney couldn't get to it, where's Brown? We've now played those three extra minutes, but it's Rio Ferdinand to Brown. One final assault here, maybe, from Manchester United. A miscue by Cole, but he couldn't care at the moment. It was all about getting it away. United finishing normal time, much the stronger team. Fletcher to Brown. Rooney is in the middle, so is Ronaldo. Maybe caught in two minds there. And that is the final contribution. It's finished nil-nil. Breathtaking football at times, no goals. United, without question though, Ray, had the better chances. And I think over the 90 minutes were the better too. Well, for the exception of the first 25 minutes, when Arsenal, for me, certainly had more possession of the ball, had good, were very patient with their possession, but never looked like they were going to open up the Man United defence. But after that first 25 minutes, then Man United have been in control. They had a little spell in the second half of about 10 minutes, when how on earth they didn't score, I don't know. And then, of course, they had uh, that miraculous head off the line from 
Freddie Youngberg when certainly uh, it looked to all intents that Van Nistelrooy had scored. But they haven't. Arsenal are still in it and they'll still think they've got a chance. But United must feel very, very confident stood down there at the moment because they have been the best side and they have been the side that looks like they can score goals here, whereas Arsenal haven't. Well, you look now at the United bench and see Ryan Giggs there. Would you now be thinking about him? Also, Alan Smith among the subs. Well, I saw Alan Smith warming up uh, quite vigorously in the last 10 minutes there, as though he thought he might have a chance of coming on. But, you know, United at this moment in time, they're in the ascendancy, they are the side that's creating the opportunities, and you would think that probably at this moment they'll leave it as it is because they are the side that look like creating, whereas uh, Arsenal are the side that look tired, they're all laid down on the floor there on the far side there, being massaged and stretched out, and uh, you just wonder where their inspiration can come from, and I think... You look at the Arsenal side and you look at Reyes really, for me, has been very disappointing. Uh, Fabregas found it hard going, I think. I think, uh, I think that's... You know, I mean, you... He's having to lift them there, isn't he? I mean, opportunities are plenty, really, for Manchester United. We can look back at one or two of them now. Certainly in this second half. This, I think, was the... Was it the Roy Keane one? I think this might be the one off the post. Oh, it's the shot off the post from Rooney, yeah. But this was the spell when United was so in charge and it was just amazing. You know, I mean, it would be interesting to speak to... Probably when he speaks to Wayne afterwards, say he meant that, but I think, you know, we look at it... You see Lehman commit the cardinal sin of leaving your near post before the ball struck and he could have paid heavily for it. And he did have a spell here, Lehman, when he was all over the show. He made, like, three or four hours, as good as he was in the first half. He had three or four moments in the second half, any one of them. Could have cost him a goal. You thought Keane might have hit that one first time? I thought Keane there should have hit it first time because once when the ball arrives at Keane here, he hits it now, he's only got Lehman and a couple of defenders. By having that touch, it allowed Vieira to get in behind Lehman and he was the one who got the block in. This is the chance, I mean, oh! I All mean, credit to Jungberg on the goal line. I mean, it was an incredible save on the goal line, it really was. Real awareness shown by the Swede, Philly Jungberg to deprive Ruvan Nisteroy of a goal. He reacted so quickly then, Jungberg, and he had to, just deflected it onto the crossbar. I'm sure Van Nisteroy thought he'd scored here, because he got loads of power on it, and yet the reactions of Jungberg on the line, just how, you know, how on earth he got it hit on the crossbar and got it over the bar, I don't know, to be honest. Just looking out there now, though, body language says to me United are still fired up. Arsenal have got, I mean, they've got to lift themselves. Wenger is still clapping his hands there, saying, come on, we can still do this. And obviously they can, but United, without question, finished the game stronger. They did, and the interesting thing looking down there, that, that Giggs has got his, his top off, he's been warming up vigorously there, and I think it's going to be Darren Fletcher that's actually going to go off and that Giggs is going to come on in this, last, yeah. in this extra time. Well, no respite then for Arsenal, not with Giggs coming on. The memory is still fresh, really, of 1999, that fantastic run that won the game for United in the semi-final replay. One of the great goals of all time. Yeah, I would think if I was Lauren that Giggs would be the last person I'd want to see coming on. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen off Ronaldo, he's thinking. <laughs> Who's coming on? Neville? No. Giggs. He's a hatful for anyone. Just signed a two-year contract extension to 2008, Ryan Giggs. And that's a change of policy, because normally over 30 at Old Trafford means you only get one year. They've made an exception of him. And maybe here in Roy Keane, we're looking at a future manager. Alex Ferguson will give him his vote, by all accounts. So Ryan Giggs is on four times, and if they cut with up. The same as Keane. The interesting thing is it looks as though Ronaldo is still going to stay out on his left-hand oh, side. Yes, and, you're uh, right, yeah. And Giggs is going to play inside uh, with Keane and Scholes, and it may be that Scholes goes and plays off, off Van Nistel. So here we go. It could well be a bumpy old ride. We shall need a sip of tea before I continue. Hang on. He's better clear the throat. Ferdinand for United. Who's your money on, right? 
Well, it has to be United, it really does, because they say they've, they've had so much possession uh, and they've looked dangerous, but whereas Arsenal have not looked dangerous at all, even when they've had good possession, they haven't tested Roy Carroll, and uh, that would be very worrying for me if I was an Arsenal supporter. The first extra time in a cup final since 1993. Sheffield Wednesday in Arsenal. My memory serves me correctly, yes it was. Was it Andy Linnigan who scored the winning goal? It was, yeah, it was a replay, wasn't it? Yeah. A replay, yeah. That was when Paul Morrow broke his collarbone, didn't he? Celebrating. Celebrating, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. Not a goalkeeper, was he? No. <laughs> you see, they say goalkeepers so are bad. Fullbacks are just <laughs> as bad. <laughs> oh no, that was a League Cup final. League Cup final. Yeah, I told you memory was going. Here's Rooney. Okay, it's an excellent play by him. Whoops. I think uh, the two officials in from have had a good look at each other. <laughs> Corner or goal kick? Well, goal kick was the decision. No real protest from Wayne Rooney. It's just that referee had his flag in three different positions and he wasn't sure where to put it. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> so Rod Erickson, Ray's boss, looking on here. Ray will be waving. There's Ferdinand. Plenty of contenders for England contention, that's for sure. Jersey, though, looking round. <laughs> the Arsenal end, the supporters at the Arsenal end have gone very quiet in this yeah. last half an hour. Well, the guys were up gun, no two ways about it. But do not write them off yet. Reds. Van Persie, who can be deadly in front of goal. The young Dutchman. The new Dennis Bearcat, they say. Different qualities, maybe. No doubt about his potential. Here's Colo Torre. There will be spaces now. Room to manoeuvre in as the game opens up and the legs get tighter. Gilberto. Nowhere near that Percy. Ferdinand to Keane. Now Paul Scholes. The man whose goal, remember, divided the two teams in last season's semi-final. Ferdinand. Here's Keane. Little flick by Giggs. He's so keen, he's been saying this week, to score an FA Cup final goal. Playing in his sixth final. Reyes to Perez. Now to Jokberg. Another who has an uncertain future at Highbury for in Jokberg. Nothing's been settled. Got another year to go in his contract. Still best to Ruud van Nistelrooy. Stories always seem to surface at this time of year about whether or not he'll be staying. Certainly remember them last year. Right, Giggs played it towards van Nistelrooy. Center off held his nerve though. And he's played well, the young man. To justify it. Wenger's decision to play him rather than Sol Campbell. 
Now Reyes. Way from scores. Maybe a little too easily. Yupberg. Here's Perez. The match winner in 2003. Laurent to Vieira. He's got Cole away to his left. Rooney had come back there to close the space down. Senderos. The pace has noticeably slackened. As it would do on this stamina sapping surface. So much at stake. Reyes to Cole. He's had his work cut out just containing Wayne Rooney. Gilberto. Plenty of passes being struck around here by Arsenal. No penetration, though. No, exactly. Yes, yeah, going nowhere at the moment. Center off to Gilberto. It's like a training match at the moment. Can somebody spark it into life? Colo Torre to that Percy. He's earned himself a free kick with his perseverance there. Into double figures with his goals for Arsenal this season. Including three at the FA Cup. He is the top scorer, in fact, in this competition for the Gunners. And he might fancy a piece of this. Fair way out. Reyes has wandered across as well to join Perez and Robin Van Persie. Van Persie, who has bounced back really well after losing his confidence and being set off in the game against Southampton. Very much in the fray here for Arsenal. A really dangerous left foot. Here is Van Persie. Good effort, too. Roy Carroll had to be on his guard there to beat it away. Well, that's an excellent save, particularly because he's had nothing to do all the game there. And Van Persie's got it round the wall, in towards that top corner there. And right, it's the side that Roy Carroll should be defending, but he still defended it well. Arsenal hopes are raised. Perez. Now Lauren, nobody's really picked him up. On to Gilberto. That was Ferdinand. Managing to smuggle it out. Lauren confronted by Scholes. Ever eager in the midfield, as is Keane. That's a marvellous tackle by Roy Keane. He was... <laughs> Talk about commitment, there was only ever going to be one winner of that ball there, and that was Roy Keane. He's had a go at his teammates, hasn't he, this season? About their lack of commitment sometimes, lack of work rate. He said you need those two things for all the talent you have. Jokberg. This is promising now for Arsenal. Just clipped the heel, though, of Rio Ferdinand. Where's Brown? Some pace back there, aren't they, with Sylvester and Ferdinand and Brown. Yes, that's why they're, they're allowed to push up the field so much when they want to, because they've got so much pace that it's very. There's only somebody like in this Arsenal side. There's only somebody like Reyes who could actually get the other side of them with the pace. Vieira with Centeros. given certainly a nerveless display back there for Arsenal. And it hasn't been easy at times keeping United at bay. Colo Torre. Aiming for Van Persie. That was Sylvest. Now then to Quinton Fortune, the South African. On to Van Nistelrooy. Good delivery for Giggs. Enough said. So many honours during his time at Old Trafford, Ryan Giggs. Now they've cast him as yet another potential match winner. United haven't lost in the FA Cup since Arsenal beat them back in 2003. Van Persie. 
Sylvester was snapping away at him. Keane inevitably in the vicinity as well. Roy Keane rolled off for Ferdinand. Tempo's dropped, but the intrigue certainly hasn't. Cristiano Ronaldo. Forced infield then by Lauren. Keen to Giggs. Still Ryan Giggs. That needs to wait. Shot the handball. And referee Rob Stars well placed there to see what happened. He's shaking his head, smiling as well. Out by Torre. And goes Keane. Van Nistelrooy. To Giggs. And now Rooney. And a very, very important challenge by Ashley Cole. More frustration for Rooney. They were really stretched then, Arsenal. Oh, they certainly were. Here's the handball situation, and it was never a handball. Great decision by Rob Styles. First look, it looked like his hand went towards the ball, but it obviously hit him in the stomach, nowhere near handball. The referee has got it right again. Don't think he's got too much wrong. It's driven in by Scholes towards Keane. Vieira never too far away. Two captains in that maelstrom of a midfield. Here's Silvest. Oh, Heyman was tempted for a moment. Now Rooney. And here's Ferdinand to Scholes. Great save by Jens Lehmann. Once again, he's rescued his team. He has, yeah. A good height to save, but again, if you want the ball to come into Sunday, Rio Ferdinand does well here, slides it into Scholes. First touch. And it's in a good area for him to say, but it's still great reflexes, it really was. But to, if you want a ball to fall to somebody in the box at this time in the game, Scholes would be your man. And he certainly worked the keeper there. Scored in the 99 final, Paul Scholes. And so nearly repeated that today. And it's the Roy! Oh, it's a free header! Oh, he can't believe he's missed that one, I'm sure. What's going through his mind there? Arsenal all at sea when this ball comes in, and a totally free header there, and somehow manages not to get it on the target. Hits the target, almost certainly he scores. Well, down the years, and certainly in his time with Manchester United, he has been one of Europe's deadliest finishers. He's had chances to today to enhance his reputation. But he's failed, so far anyway. Here's Scholes digging in that pass for Giggs. No hat ball again. Massive shout. Polo Torre. Most relieved man in the place. Hard to see from here, and it was straight at him anyway. Not sure what sort of view Rob Styles had of it. You have to say, Torre and Lauren look very tired players at the moment. Their body language is awful at the moment. They're having a go at different people. And it really is. I mean, is, it Ooh, was to his ball. hand. That's handball. I think he's a very, very lucky man, Colo Torre. Gix was leading the protest there, having a go at Rob Styles. It's a let off for Arsenal, who now want to bring on their old Brazilian player, Adu, and it will be in place of Robert Pires. Heading for the exit. But he might just be the man, as you were suggesting earlier, right? who could turn this their way. Well, it surprises me that hasn't happened earlier, because for me, Pires has been very disappointing. There's not really, we've not seen the, the real Robert Pires there today, and uh, certainly I'm surprised that Edu has not come on earlier, because certainly towards the back end of the season, when he's been used as a substitute, he's done extremely well for Arsenal. And finally, Sir Alec Ferguson will probably accept now that Thierry Henry is not going to come on in this final.
Well, they're getting time now. Fatigue is setting in. It's painful for Reyes. Sure, Scholes did that much wrong, but maybe another angle would suggest otherwise. Well, he's played his last trump card now. Look, they got that Percy on, and now they do as well. Different stories emerging from Highbury as to why Adu isn't staying. He says he wasn't offered the right contract. Arsenal will probably tell you something completely different. But it does seem he's on his way, and that's a shame because he's added a lot to the English game, I felt. He has, he's an excellent player, he's got a great left foot, and uh, you know, he gets around the field well. You know, and he's forced himself into the Brazilian team as well, you know, and that's not easy to no. do. Well, his team. Question we are on top in terms of possession. At least they have been. That is the end of the first period of extra time. And it's still Ray Clements alongside me here is a very, very tough one to call. But United have had so many chances now. Well, that's the only worrying thing for United. They've had so many chances that they haven't stuck one of them in yet, you know, and uh, as Arsenal showed in, in that first half of extra time, they've they've struggled to cope. They've looked disjointed at the back at the moment, but they did have a free kick which forced Roy Carroll into a good save. And, uh, you know, they're still capable of winning it. But if you look at the two sides at the moment, then Man United are by far the better side. This was a save by Jens Lehmann, and it was a stunning one too, Ray. Well, it certainly was. You know, Rio Ferdinand does well to keep that ball alive as such, but... Uh, once it drops to once it drops here to to Paul Scholes, he pulls off Sandros there, nicks it around him. Good strike, but a good save as well, also by Lehman. Got really strong hands behind it. The German international goalkeeper. <laughs> Who'd be a manager in situations like this? One of these two managers is going to end the season without a trophy. But they have given us such an absorbing game here. It's hard to believe it's goalless. So here we go. The last 15 minutes, if they still can't settle it, we're down to a penalty shootout. The FA Cup, just about the only major event around the world, hasn't had one. Maybe today's the day. I think I can bear to watch. Here's Van Nistelrooy. Up to Giggs. In full flow. Rooney's coming round the back. Van Nistelrooy! Over-elaborating? Well, for me, I don't know what he was trying to do there. It was a simple, just put your foot through the ball. Here comes Reyes on the rebound. Robin Van Persie. Arsenal with four up here, including Adu who wants to bow out in style. He says he was really moved by the response of the Arsenal fans in what may well have been his final league game. They even let him take a penalty at the end of that seven-goal thrashing of Everton. One of the great displays, I gather, I didn't see the match, but I gather one of the great performances since the Premiership started. Everton, who, of course, finished fourth in the Premiership, completely played off the park. Different story today. Vieira. Now, Freddy Ljungberg. One of Arsenal got left in the locker. Adu. That took a deflection off Brown. Ronaldo. He's given it away. He was careless then, the Portuguese. Here's Jack Percy skipping past what challenge. But not that of Rio Ferdinand. So sturdy, so obdurate at the back. Wayne Rooney. Now Ronaldo. All kicks. He's onside. Terrific work there by Jens Lehmann. He was actually caught by Giggs anyway. But he was very brave, very quick to come out then, Lehmann. Oh, hard in the mouth moment. <laughs> 
It looked like it was Giggs's ball, and this is when Sandros gets the touch. But to be fair to the layman, he comes out fully committed, just gets there in front. There's a 50-50 ball, and the two of them clash, and it looks a lot worse than what it is. And for once, layman hasn't made a song and a dance about it, like, you know, normally he'd be up on his feet chasing Giggs all over the field. But it was a 50-50 <laughs> ball, and certainly, and certainly layman showed his commitment to get there first. You used to comb your hair when you made a tackle like that. Make sure the cameras are watching. <laughs> they do. Now Cole. Reyes. Cross caps Rio third and out. I think the United fans wanting a strong performance from Rio today. Bearing in mind his delaying of signing a contract. Kono Torre. The defender's to Ferdinand, he has played very well. Center off to Edu. Now Vieira. Away from Van Nistelrooy, here's Van Persie. Youngberg. Trying to stretch United down that Arsenal right. Laid off to Patrick Vieira. And then Gilberto. Who scored here in the Community Shield against United. This is Cole. That goes Jumper. Free kick to Arsenal. Much to his dismay. And disbelief. Reyes. Van Percy looking for Reyes again. Rushing collision with Mikhail Silvest. Who remember was sent off at Highbury in the Premiership this season. Yeah, it's a silly tap. And again, Reyes was booked for one silly challenge in the second half. And now he's gone in for another one. I don't think Rob Styles will send him off. But again, I think he's going to be saying to him, one more of those silly challenges, and I don't care whether it's the second half of extra time in the cup final or not, you're going down the tunnel. Only one player in FA Cup history has ever been sent off in the final, Kevin Moran, back in 1985, off Manchester United. Sensible refereeing, I think, though. No, it was, yes, but I think hopefully he's made the point to Reyes, yeah. look, you know, I've let you off this time, but there won't be a next time. I also thought the sparks were going to fly because Sylvester looked as if he was about to react and he's been booked as well. Up goes Van Nistelrooy with Torre. On by Keane to Ronaldo. Skulls making his way up as well. They've got three in there anyway. That went behind. It went behind. More frustration for Rooney who's just kicked the ball into the crowd. But quickly acknowledged it was a foolish thing to do. And there's no harm done. We hadn't, you know. No, no, there was no way that went behind. And it could have embarrassed Lehman again because he's come off his line. Could have embarrassed the lino as well down here. That's Brown challenging with Adu. Rio Ferdinand. Inside the final ten minutes. Prospect of a penalty shootout growing stronger. Rooney, Senderos. Kept his head again. Very impressive, the young man. No, he hasn't. And particularly at this moment in time, because for me, in extra time, Toure's looked a very, very tired player and St. Ross has had to keep his wits about him to defend the course for Arsenal. The flag has stayed down. Robin Van Persie. United thought he was offside. Not so. Still Van Persie. It goes Keane. He's been tremendous in Roy Keane. You know, everything that's been talked about him before the game. You know, for the, for the age of the, of the man, he, his commitment to the cause and the way he gets other people to play has been tremendous. I can't think of him giving a ball away all the game. That's right, I think he's got two more years left in him. And he 
has shown us why today. Adu with Patrick Vieira. Now then to Cole. Here's Reyes. He has it away from Scholes. It's going to be a caution for the former England midfielder. A tired challenge by Scholes. I think that's what Rob Stiles said. I think he said, it's not for that challenge, it's for the three challenges you've done before that have <laughs> let you away with. Robin Van Persie lining up this free kick. Torre and Senderos have gone up there. Gilberto is no slouch in the air either. He's in the mix, along with Patrick Vieira. Here then is Van Persie. Will it fall for Adu? No. It's away by Keane. Always, always leading by example. Adu with Van Persie. Keane's there yet again. And again. Brown. Optic for safety first. Sylvester to Quentin Fortune. Ronaldo's gone on a first down the left. Still Fortune. Over goes Gilberto. And now the referee will have to step in here. Before matters get out of hand. Now in the rain at Cardiff. Inside the so atmospheric stadium. It's still very much in the balance. Fortune clashing there with Jungberg. Yeah, and Jungberg's made a meal of that. Fortune's got, got his, uh, his arm up, certainly, but Jungberg's made a meal of that, but then Fortune has come in with a high tackle off the back of that. And as, uh, as has been said in the build-up to this game, that this game is always only one serious as a tackle away from a major incident. Well, we've never had a penalty shootout in an FA Cup final. It's getting near now. Well, there's less than five minutes, and as uh, I say, I still can't see Arsenal scoring, and United have just lost that impetus at the moment to push forward and go and win this game, which they show they should have done. They've certainly had the chances, even in extra time here. Lauren to Gilberto. Less than five minutes to go. In extra time in the 2005 FA Cup final. Arsenal nil, Matches United nil. This is Adu. On for Cole. A meeting of light lines there as he clashed with Rooney. Careful, Wayne. Good choice words there. Been in trouble for that before. He's got one eye, on, one eye on Cole there. Yes, no, he knew that Cole was the other side of him. And just give him a nudge in the back there. There's no, you can't have an argument about that. And it could be a costly misdemeanor. Robin Van Persie to take this free kick net for Arsenal. Not adjusting position, full position in there. And this is Freddie Ljungberg. The man who's hoping to score in three FA Cup finals was well wide of the mark. Yes, the ball just wouldn't sit down for him quick enough. I think when the ball comes in here, it comes out to Freddie Youngberg, and I think we'll finish up seeing him hit it with his shin. His first touch isn't exactly what he wants it to be. Just sits up, won't drop down, he knows he's got to hit it early, and it's off the shin. And, uh, yes, that's enough said about that, I think. Just all round, you feel that? A little bit of lack of conviction about Arsenal today. Well, I just think the longer the game's gone on, the less belief there has been in them that they can actually beat. Manchester United.
after that initial 25 minutes when they had good possession Arsenal and didn't create anything. Once Man United got on top, they've stayed on top really. And uh, you know, if they are not to win this in in extra time or even in the 90 minutes, they're going to be very, very disappointed. And uh, and I'd be a little bit worried now going to penalties because they've had all the play. Tim Howard there, the American, is behind the goal. Maybe just a suggestion that he might come on to replace Roy Cowell if it comes to penalties. We might not need them yet, though. Down goes Ronaldo. Up goes the pulse rate. Two minutes left. Looking for Vieira. Well, it would be an amazing situation if they did bring Howard on, but uh, they're going to have to do it very, very quickly if they are. Just looking at his body language, that's all, just suggests that he's getting himself ready, getting himself psyched up. Meantime, here is Ryan Giggs. Just beyond Ronaldo. There'll be two more minutes at the end of extra time. The stoppages. Ashley Cole, Reyes, then Adu. Free kick given. No, it's not. No play on. Reyes has stayed down and clearly is in some distress, as Rooney might be now. As he's whacked by Patrick Vieira. Well, when players get tired now, this is when the <laughs> tempers start to fray. And it's showing him one or two players at the moment. Free kick to United. A nerve wracking finale. We're almost into time added on. Is there to be a final flourish here from Manchester United? who have spurred so many chances to have seen off the challenge of Arsenal. Maybe this will be the last one. All hats to that Arsenal defensive pump. Keen over the ball, Scholes is there, and Giggs. Rooney wide of there, but maybe not getting involved here. It is Paul Scholes! Hit with Venom, but not sufficient accuracy. Ronaldo trying to shake off Lauren and Jungberg. It's a United throw. We're now into those two added minutes. Kicks. Wayne Rooney has been named man of the match. No real argument there. Sylvest. A careless though. That cuts Giggs. Vieira got caught in possession. One more minute. If there's no conclusion, we're into a penalty shootout. Torre. Now Van Persie. Looking for Cole, but he's only found Wayne Rooney. That cuts Cole. Senderos sweeping forward now there for Arsenal. Last chance for them. Gilberto. We ran straight into Quinton Fortune. And now they might be fully extended. Ronaldo. Reyes on his way back. Not careful. If he isn't, he'll be on his way off. Well, he's been won. He has been sent off. Only the second man in FA Cup final history. And as you say, the warnings were there. He was told just a few minutes ago that one more stupid thing, and it was stupid. He knew that were, Ronaldo was getting away there, and he ran at him, arm up in the air, 
and caught him around a neck height, and uh, he can have no arguments as far as I'm concerned. Well, a young man still learning the game, still learning his trade. And let's hope he comes back from that experience a better man. The final whistle has been blown, and we will need a penalty shootout to divide these two teams at Cardiff. It's finished after extra time, Arsenal nil, Manchester United nil. Ray and Peter, thank you, and we will be back with you, of course, for the penalties for the first time in the history of this FA Cup. Viv Anderson has watched it all with us, and after 120 minutes, could you have taken your eye off that for a second? No, you didn't take your eyes off it, I must admit. But since the second half, start the second half, Manchester United have been dominant, I thought. I thought they're very unfortunate to get to this stage. I thought they'd have won it in, in normal time. It wasn't to be, but it's a limiting next few minutes to see what happens with the penalties, I must admit. The stats then must confirm. Wonder if he's going to be the hero for him in the, in the penalties as well. Well, you just don't want to be the villain of this piece now, do you? And you would feel for any player who's miss or moment of yeah. capricious oh, misfortune means that the cup is lost now. And I know where you'd find me. It, uh, you know that toilet down in the tunnel? I'd be down there. Manager's looking for me. Who's going to take that penalty? No, you won't find me anywhere near taking these things. The people who take the get my, uh, my hand. So then, time for the conclusion, one way or another, with Ray and Peter. So it's all down to the penalty shootout. Ruud van Nistelrooy has strode up to the penalty spot, keen to get on with it. Clearly, he is going to take the first one for Manchester United against Jens Lehmann. Just at him, we had that maybe Tim Howe would have come on to keep goal for United. That's not to be the case. It will be Roy Carroll. Well, it would have been the most amazing substitution if they decided to have done that. I don't yeah. know how Roy Carroll would have felt being brought off in the last minute of extra time for somebody else to try and save penalties. But uh, it'll be very interesting now because uh, it's all a test of character and mental strength now. Ruud van Nistelrooy, who scored from the penalty spot in last season's final. And does so again. 1-0 United. Well, he's had his ups and downs against Arsenal in recent times. He will have enjoyed this moment. Well, it's a super penalty, considering such a short run-up. Sometimes when he takes such a short run-up, he can give the goalkeeper a chance, but... No chance for that. Lauren, the next up. Against Roy Carroll. Lauren, the international from Cameroon. The running he's had in this game, I'm surprised he's got the strength to walk that far. Carroll doing a Bruce Grobbilar on the goal line. Here is Lauren. No problem. Excellent penalty. Excellent penalty. Paul Scholes is next for Manchester United. Really well taken uh, by Lauren. As calm as you like, even if the goalkeeper had gone the right way, there was no chance he was going to save that. Well, many think it's not a satisfactory way to end such a big occasion, such an important event as this, but it has to be. There still has to be a loser. There will still be such contrasting emotions at the end of it all. Paul Scholes. And now the driving rain in Cardiff. What's saved? Brilliantly. By Jens Lehmann. Well, that was a fantastic save because Scholes hit that with bags of power. Maybe would have liked it to get a little bit further in the corner, but it's still a tremendous block. Yet again, such strong hands behind it from Jens Lehmann. Agony and dejection for Paul Scholes being consoled by his teammates. Freddie Ljungberg steps up now then for Arsenal and scores. They lead 2-1.
What a game this is, hey? Man United in charge for all of the game, all of extra time, and yet when it comes to penalties, they're now behind. Cristiano Ronaldo will be next for United. Some brilliant moment from him during the match itself. Can he keep his composure here? In this nail-biting occasion, he can, he can. 2-2. Two, two. Well, he tried to get Lehman to, to move early, watch him run up, have a little stutter, tries to get Lehman to commit. He doesn't commit until he comes up to strike the ball and then chooses to go the wrong way. Robert Van Persie. In the firing line now. The young Dutchman. Whose goals help them into this final. From the semi against Blackburn. It's there. 3-2 Arsenal. Now you have to say, Arsenal's three penalties have been absolutely fantastic. They've not given Roy Carroll a chance whatsoever. All in the corners, all hit with great pace. And it's given Arsenal this chance. Wayne Rooney. I'm sure he'd give his man of the match award back if he thought he was going to score with this. Let's see. The young England international. Pops it home. With no mistake. 3-3. Three, three. And next it will be Ashley Cole, who's had such a troubled week off the field. With a disciplinary hearing over the alleged tapping up by Chelsea. And his part in all that. He's put it all behind him today in terms of his performance during the 120 minutes of the match. Now one last contribution from him. Four, three, Arsenal. All down to the last two. All eyes now on Roy Keane. If he misses this, Arsenal win the FA Cup. Another inspired performance from the skipper today. Man you can so normally rely on for just about anything when it comes to football. And that is the point proved. 4-4, but Patrick Vieira has the chance now for glory. Hoping to lift the cup today. To follow David Seaman in 2003 and Tony Adams from 2002 and 98. Vieira, who didn't play in the 93 final. going through his mind now just trying to shut everything out I'm sure Patrick Vieira for Arsenal he's done it and Arsenal against all the odds in terms of the way the match itself went have won the FA Cup well it's amazing isn't it we said in extra time there United need to take one of these chances otherwise we could come back to haunt them and it has done I mean that's incredible and United supporters obviously can't be believe what's happened yet the United players can't believe what's happened and I think all the Arsenal lads are right Ferguson there he is absolutely well he's in a world of his own there he can't believe what's happened and I think even the United you know, the Arsenal fans can't believe they've won this but they have and that's the beauty of the FA Cup so it's turned into a glorious afternoon for the Gunners. They won the cup for the tenth time in their history. At last, a beaming smile from Arsene Wenger.
Their fourth in seven years under him. It's a notable climax to a season that has failed to produce a reward in the other major competitions. But now ends on a massive high. While well, Manchester United are left licking their wounds and with the unwanted scenario of having ending the season without a trophy. A little piece of football history, the FA Cup final decided on penalties. What will be your, your memories of, of the day, the occasion and the match? Well, we said right early on in the commentary, the, the two teams that played there today, there's very, very little in it. It was always going to be a tight affair, and whoever took the, the chances on the day or did a little bit of skill to get them a result, and it's proved in today what we've seen now. It's gone right the way down to the wire, it's been down to penalty. So it tells you there's not much to choose between the two teams, and hopefully next season Manchester United are going to bridge that gap between them and Chelsea. It must feel like a gaping chasm right now to them as Arsenal celebrate those who played and those who didn't play. My thanks to Viv Anderson. Really enjoyed your company, Viv. Thanks, Paul. And let's rejoin Ray and Peter for the celebrations. And so to the presentations. First to the officials today. Fine job they did too. Rob Styles, the referee. Some may have doubted the wisdom of his appointment, and I think he proved today he was up to the task. And also, congratulations to his assistants, Jim Devine, Paul Canadine, and the fourth official, Neil Barry. Now, and well, it's cruel, it's very cruel on Manchester United, but it is a euphoric day then for Arsenal. An afternoon of heartbreak for United, who won the three previous games between these two bitter rivals this season. Indeed, they not lost in the last seven meaningful meetings. But it's Arsene Wenger's team who have triumphed this time, just as they did on the last occasion they met in the final back in 1979, albeit in different circumstances. As Roy Keane leads up the Manchester United players, they will feel they did enough in the match itself to have won the game, but it wasn't to be right. No, it wasn't, and Roy Keane in particular, he did as much as anybody to try and give the team the impetus they needed. I think Van der Stero will be disappointed. He had two or three really good chances. One in extra time when he over-elaborated, when it, it looked like when the cross came in, he just had to put his left foot to it and it would go in, but he didn't do that. Tried to flick it in and missed it totally. And that was a vital miss, I have to say. So they, they know as they walk across there that they should have won it. They did have the chances. They had all the possession, all the pressure, all the chances. But as Viva said, if you don't take them, then you can be punished, and that's what the penalty shootout can do to you. So Alec Ferguson can only look on now and wonder what might have been. So, just got to win this cup today. He always says every year the minimum target is to win a trophy, whatever it is. It hasn't happened this time. A fantastic day in the end for Arsenal. Up comes Freddie Leungberg on as a substitute. Here he might not appear today at all because of an injury recently, but he came back to claim his place in the squad. And in the end, it was Patrick Figueira, the skipper, who tucked away the decisive penalty. What a season for that lug, Senderos, and also Fabregas, who just walked in front of him there. I mean, two young lads who have got years and years in front of them for Arsenal. But what a fantastic end to a, a dream season for the two of them, and for Dennis Bergkamp. Maybe didn't play at his best today, trying to play in a position that is not really his best, but gave everything for the side, and it's fitting that for what he's done for Arsenal this year, that he picks up a medal. The stopkeeper, Almunia there, of course, was a hero in the penalty shootout against Sheffield United earlier in the competition. But Arsenal just about scraped through. Today, they had a hero in Jens Lehmann. With that stunning stop from Paul Scholes, and in the end, proved so conclusive. And this is the moment he's been waiting for. The FA Cup winners of 2005 are It should be the last FA Cup final in Cardiff, and Arsenal have denied Manchester United back-to-back -back Cup final wins. The holders have had to relinquish their grip on the trophy. 
while reports of United's death, to quote a famous line, have been surely greatly exaggerated. The United fans who say they'll not watch their team again have only tears for souvenirs. For Arsenal, Thierry Henry, who's missed out today, but can join in the celebrations. And Arsenal supporters, it's a day to enjoy. They are the FA Cup winners in 2005.